guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Katie and I have been vlogging my weight loss journey here on this channel. I've also recently joined Weight Watchers and have stumbled across this two ingredient dough recipe. And I'm really curious if it tastes good or not. So if you are wanting to know how to make it and if it tastes good, or at least my opinion, if it tastes good, cause I'm gonna be honest with you guys, then just keep watching. I want to apologize for any random background noises. My dog decided he wanted to pick up and play with a toy right when I wanted to film. So there's that. Also, I'm filming in front of a window and it's a really cloudy day today. The sun keeps going in and out of clouds. So sometimes there'll be a burst of light and then it'll just kind of go away again. So the lighting might be a little, you know, up and down, but I'm just working with what I got people. It is what it is. It's a Monday. Happy Monday. And um, I'm also trying to get my words um, together because I'm just a little sleep deprived. So anyways, now that we have all the disclaimers out, let's get into what we're really here for. And that's this two ingredient dough. So I have the two ingredients right here in front of me. So you need some Greek yogurt. I'm personally using the Chobani non-fat plain Greek yogurt. Um, like I said, I am on the Weight Watchers program, so this is what I'm opting to use. And then I'm also using self-rising flour. So these are the two um, ingredients, the two stars of the show, if you will. Um, the ratio is one to one. So I'm going to do one cup Greek yogurt and one cup self-rising flour. We'll see how that turns out. Um, now I am gonna cheat a little bit and like further into the video, I know it says two ingredients, so I am gonna try one with just these two ingredients truly. Um, but you know, we also gotta add a little spice to some stuff. So we'll be doing that on some other ones too because I do believe this dough makes four bagels, if you will but I don't know, we'll see when we get there, but let's go ahead and mix one cup to one cup, get it mixing into a dough consistency, and yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get out my Greek yogurt here, and I have to mix it up a little, cause it's been sitting. Okay, so I've cleaned my surface, washed my hands, and took off my jewelry. Um, and I'm just going to do one cup of plain non-fat Greek yogurt. And then opening this flour. And then we're gonna do one cup of the self-rising flour. Okay, now we're just going to mix these ingredients together. Now that the majority of it has mixed, um, I'm going to go ahead and kind of use my hands to mix it into a dough consistency. I guess like knead it. Is that what it's called? Kneading it. Because it's really sticky right now, but we need it in a dough consistency. So. Okay, so I'm going to just sprinkle some flour on my surface here. Um, because the dough is pretty sticky. Uh, so I will also put some flour on my hands. That way we don't have a sticky mess. We may still have a sticky mess, but hopefully it won't be too bad. So I'm gonna scoop this out um, onto the countertop. Okay, so this whole thing is pretty messy. I actually had to add in a little bit more flour. So I would say maybe a quarter cup more. Um, but yeah, so anyways, I am going to break this into four equal pieces. Um, and then we will shape them out and get them cooking.
but I'm gonna make mine in the air fryer. Um, so I have the four uh, bagels there, and then I have a little bit of an egg wash here. I'm gonna leave one just plain, um, and then on the other three, I'm gonna go ahead and just put a little egg wash over them. That way I can add some seasoning and the seasoning will stick. Okay, so I have some everything but the bagel seasoning here. So I'm gonna sprinkle this um, on two of them and then I'm just gonna use kosher salt on another one to see if it can give a pretzel type of vibe. All right, so here are the bagels before. I'm just going to stick this into my air fryer. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll do 350 at, let's do five minutes and then see where, how it looks after that. Okay, so they're done. This is five minutes. Um, I think, I mean, so far they actually look really good, but I think we need to do maybe, I don't know, maybe like two more minutes, maybe two more minutes. Let's do two more minutes and see how it looks. Okay, let's check them out now. Oh yeah, that looks a lot better. You can see the nice golden color on them from the egg wash, the ones with the egg wash. And then of course, this is just our plain two um, ingredient dough. It's like a little puff ball now. Um, but these look so good. It's the bottoms. The bottoms aren't completely golden i didn't put an egg wash though on the bottom Ooh, they're hot though so i'm gonna let these cool off a little bit and then we'll cut into it look at the um consistency of the inside and most importantly taste okay so here they are plated all nice and ready to try um we're gonna try the original first and then work our way Around All right, plate. so the first one we're gonna try is just a regular, legit two ingredient, that's it. So I'm gonna tear it open. That's how it looks on the inside. It's really squishy. Um, so I see I probably could have cooked them a little longer. So maybe like seven minutes, seven, eight minutes, depending on the thickness. But overall, it is really good. It's like really, it feels like nice fresh bread it feels really good so i'm gonna just try a little piece oh my goodness this is really good it's perfect you guys really who thought of this like i'm really really surprised Wow, okay, I'm excited to try the rest now. Cause that was just a plain one. Like this with a little butter on it, mm, so good. Okay, so now this is one with egg wash and kosher salt. So I kind of want us to do a little pretzel, um, I guess, inspired one. Uh, that's how it looks and yeah. Mm. Yes, this with a little bit of cheese, cheese sauce, mm. or marinara sauce, pretzel, right here, this one, egg wash and kosher salt. I'm really excited now. The last one and the one I'm most excited for, the everything but the bagel seasoning one open it for you guys that's how it looks on the inside oh my goodness i'm so excited it smells good mm. so good 
So I cut it in half like you would if it were a bagel. And that's the consistency on the inside. So these would be perfect for breakfast sandwiches. I mean, honestly, I see the possibilities are endless oh, with it. By the way, I'm probably gonna put it in towards the beginning of the video on the screen, but I did forget to mention that one bagel is three points based off of the ingredients that I use and the measurements. Um, so I'm excited to make this again and kind of perfect and tweak the recipe. Hold on. Yes. Um, where was I? Oh, so one bagel is three Weight Watcher points and that's as of the program today, the 2023 one. Um, and yeah, this is definitely gonna be something that I experiment with. I can make pizzas with this. I can, I feel like there's just so many things I can really do now with these two recipes. And honestly, even just the two recipe one is really good like these will be perfect for dinner rolls and things like that i hope so. this video was helpful for you guys if you're interested in making your own some things you can do or maybe things not to do um but overall i really enjoyed this recipe it was great i can't wait to do more things with it and i would love it if you would stick around if you want to if you don't that's cool too um i will be continuing vlogging my weight loss journey as i am currently going through it and yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video.